I am back in India, the most chaotic country in the world. And I'm on a mission to find the rickshaw rider that I met exactly one year ago. And not only I was able to find him in the middle of the chaos of Delhi. <laughs> Salim! <laughs> in the exactly same place. Bro! But he also shared with me some very powerful life lessons that I really, really needed to hear. Now my mind not so fresh, you know? A little bit, uh, you, no you, energy, yeah. tired, depression. Because, because you are Europe. Europe, you don't do much thinking. Yeah, too much thinking, bro. exactly. Too much this thinking, is my problem. thinking is dangerous yeah. for mine. And after that, we started an adventure inside Old Delhi, which is absolutely insane. If you have never been to Delhi, this video is gonna catapult you inside this crazy and fascinating city. While if you've been to Delhi before, this video is gonna bring a lot of memories back. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Good morning guys from Delhi in India. I'm back on YouTube for now. I'm here in the most chaotic city in the world. It's totally crazy here. And in today's video, I want to try to meet Salim. Salim is a rickshaw driver that I met last year. If you watched my video last year, you probably remember him. Driver. Basically the driver. Oh. Me, this is my picture. Uh -huh. This oh. is my lessons. Actually, I just want to go to Old Delhi. Okay, I saw you Old Delhi, Old sir. Delhi. Right. He was such a nice guy. He showed me around Old Delhi. I'll try to walk to the Red Fort right now and see if he's still there. I don't know, maybe he's not there anymore. So it's gonna be like a 20 minutes walk from here and uh, I will bring you with me. So let's go. You guys know I've been struggling with like depression and anxiety and negative thoughts and what I'm trying to do now is to get out of my shell and engage with the world, try to get rid of this depression by just getting out there and fighting it. As my therapist said, just engage with the world, don't get lost in your mind and just get out there. And that's the reason why I choose India because this is the most powerful way to actually engage with the world. Hello sir. So here I am in the most chaotic city in the world, try to get out of my head and uh, connect to the world again, connect to people. This one guys is called Jama Masjid Mosque and it's the most famous mosque here in uh, New Delhi. I've been to India and to Delhi many many times and I still get like the culture shock every time I arrive here because this city is extremely, extremely intense. Even now, I just arrived four days ago and I spent the first three days stuck in my room, just eating room service because I wasn't ready for what was going on out there. It's just too chaotic, too intense. And this is the first day that I decided to step out of the hotel and immerse myself in this city. But if it's your first time in Delhi, if your first time in India, man, it can be a traumatic experience because it's something that you cannot find anywhere else in the world. It's total madness, total chaos. Whew. All your senses will wake up, that's guaranteed. I wonder if Salim is still here because there are so many rickshaw like this all over the city. So I'll try to go back where I met him in front of the Red Fort, but who knows? Maybe he's there, maybe he's not there. Look how many they are, but Salim is a special one. He's such a, a nice guy. Very kind. <laughs> Salim! <laughs> That's Salim, man, in the exactly same place. Bro! Long time, how are you? Okay, Salim. Ah. So it's gonna get a chai tea now for us. We're gonna drink a tea here in the street. And then let's see, maybe we'll go somewhere together. Nice to see him again, man. It's crazy that he was in exactly the same spot right here, one year later. I guess that's his spot. I'm very happy you are coming. <laughs> Thank you so I much. I like I'm really happy again too. and again. Thank you. So I like this business again and again. Yeah, yeah. Happy. Yeah. Now I have no business. You are my friend. Yes, man. Last time, just meeting. Just meet first time. So I like, I'm very happy by the people come again and again and again. Yeah. So I like this kind of job. <laughs> Very Money nice. is not everything. Yeah. You are everything. You coming. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. 
Same for you. I really wanted to come here to meet you after one year, you know. Ah, so and then I'm very happy. One time you dinner my house. Thank you, bro. You're, you're not business, just you friend. Thank you so much. And you like Indian food, korma, biryani, rice. Yeah. Is... Your family there? You have family? Yeah, we have a three daughter, one boy. So one daughter already married. Ah. We have a two boy, uh, two daughter. And one boy. Ah, okay. My boy is, is like 20 years. Oh wow! So Big boy. They, they can. They have another job. Ah okay. They have a business job, but he's good job. Yeah. I am 35 years driving rickshaw <laughs> because I am not graduated. Yeah. I am a married. Yeah. Then we have a children. Yeah. So I spend money my children then high education. Wow. They find nice job. You invest in them. Yeah. Good life. Good education. Good life. Yeah. And somebody. They have a street, no education. Yes. So no future. Yes. You sacrifice your money yeah. for your kids. Uh, I make money, I spend money, my children, education. Yeah. But I am old man, 55 years. Yeah, 55 years. But you love it, no? You like I it. I love this. It's your life. You know, I am never feel tired. Yeah. When I drink tea, driving, I am every day hard Exercise. Work. Good exercise. You feel you happy. Know, my, my stomach. Yeah, slim. Yeah, very good. I am running two kilometer. Yeah. No stop. I'm yeah, walk yeah. running. Very fit. You drinking tea, <clears throat> but not too much sweet. But you feel very fresh mind and good stomach. Yeah. Not too much food and fry. Yeah. You are alive, very good. Oh man. Because health is well. Health is well, man. Money is nothing sometimes. Yeah. Money, if money is lost, nothing is lost. Yeah. If health is lost, something is lost. That's true. If character is lost, everything is lost. Yeah. So health is well. Man, I really need to hear that right now. That's a so very good advice for me. You you love your health. Yeah. Everything is health. Also your mind is good, no? Healthy mind. Yeah, it's fresh mind. Now my mind not so fresh, you know? Little bit, uh, you, no you, energy, yeah. tired, depression. Because, because you are Europe. Europe is not too much thinking. Yeah, too much thinking, bro. Exactly. Too much this thinking. This is my problem. Thinking is dangerous. Yeah. For mind. No thinking. Yeah. Health is well. Jeffy, <laughs> joking, talking. Good for health. Thank you, bro. This, I really need to hear this right now. Thinking too much is a problem, especially in the West, Europe, America. We think too much sometimes. Health is wealth. Huh? Bro, I didn't expect to get those advice from Salim, but uh, health is wealth and thinking too much is not good. This is my biggest problem right now. And I'm happy that I came to meet him and I'm happy that I'm here like engaging with India, engaging with life getting out of my mind because I really can feel the energy coming back this man is is wise yeah, <laughs> oh, man. I miss Salim singing I'm <laughs> not same song after one year yeah <laughs> This is an Indian movie. Ah, okay. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, oh, sorry. One beggar, then ten beggar coming. Yeah. They have, they have a business. It is a business. Huh? Originally beggar. Uh, Sir, India so many job, no problem. Yeah. And so many school. Yeah. So, is beggar is not good in India. Is education free? Government, they can take care for a school. Yeah. So, Better to help with the school. Yeah, yeah. Foundation. So many, so many school. It, it, it's free school, and and the high school twelve is free after college. Little bit money. The smell is very intense of the spices here. This is dry ginger. Ah, ginger. Ginger dry. Dry mango. mango. Dry mango. Mango dry. Ah. Oh man, 
the smell of the spice. <laughs> it's very strong smell. Ooh, it goes all the way in your nose. <clears throat> it's like spices everywhere. Really? Yeah. Coriander. Yeah. <coughs> Everybody's coughing here. Yeah, this chili dust. Yeah, everybody coughing, sneezing. Yeah, a lot of quantity. Look yeah, at these guys. Yeah, this is also like huge amount of grande. spices everywhere. Everybody's coughing. How can people work here the entire day? For, uh, they have a, they have a, They're used to it. Yeah, it's, they have experience. In, they work here yeah. every day. They're used to this. They're used to this. So they don't cough anymore after a while. So if you guys come to Delhi, I'll put the number of Salim. Yes, sir. And you can bring them here and have yeah. this experience because it's very unique. Very intense for sure, but also very unique. Salim, Salim can bring you here with a risho in the old daily spice market Different kind. and you can experience all of this some is very hot, less hot dry up uh, different, different yeah and this they ship it up huh? yeah. this is shipping this is like turmeric powder turmeric powder, turmeric powder. this is the one yeah, this one <laughs> and they ship it all over the world like yeah, this. all over the world turmeric powder powder, turmeric powder. This is, uh, look at this people also live here so it's a market but also like a kind of a place where people live this fresh ginger from the tea yeah and throw is clean and the stomach is good this is ginger ginger but yeah. fresh not fresh. The dry yeah you smell this very good throw clean that system is very good we're gonna have one yeah you can no problem you uh-huh okay, okay. This is the ginger. Yeah, the chai with the spices inside. It's it's really good. Very different. Thank you for the chai. Because you are you are my friend. <laughs> not not the client. Your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. This is coriander. Ah. Yeah. Export. Yeah, I can smell it. Oh wow. Yeah. Different turmeric. Yeah. Yeah, this is already nice view. Wow. The wholesale spice market of Old Delhi. Alright guys, it's time to make some Indian moustache. Can go here? This chair. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Only moustache? This chair. Only moustache. 40 years working for this shop. 40 years. 40 years. So he started at 15 years old and he worked at only at this shop for 40 years. Only here. Impressive.
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Can you give money to them or no? What way? Tip to the beggar. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. If Please? you want something. Okay. 50, okay. So Salim is telling me not to give a tip to the beggar because. You pay one beggar, then 10 beggar coming. Yeah. Even pay to 10 beggar, then another beggar coming. Then you spend money the beggars. Yeah. <laughs> So, it's not worth it to give yeah, them. Yeah, because they, they, they are business. They are not originally beggars. Yeah. Originally, like, no have hand, tie, leg. So they are okay. Okay. So they are healthy people. They yeah. ask money. This is not good. They can work, you say. They can work. Many jobs. India, so many jobs. They can work. Yeah. Yeah, most of the beggars here in India, it's, it's a real business. Yeah. To ask for money, ask to look money, like money. poor. Then whole day make 2,000, 1,000 money. And then they make a lot of money. A lot of money them. for beggars. Everyone giving. Some men 10, 20, 50, 100, they yeah. will ask every day money. So, better not to give. Better not Only to give. Only if you feel someone really like yeah, someone, they need food, someone, real yeah. food. Really, they have a no leg, they are not working. Yeah. They have no hand, no working. So, they are original, you give them money, no. Problem. Okay. Yeah, that's a good lesson. Because in India, they're everywhere. So. Yeah, everywhere. A lot of beggars. Then if you're you sensitive and you have empathy, you tend to... Yeah. You want to help everyone, somewhere, you want to give money, but... Somewhere, the monuments, like Red Fort, like uh, Jama Masjid, uh, you pay one beggar, then ten beggar coming, then you pay ten beggar, then another beggar coming. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very old temple, huh? The carving is, uh, is amazing. He's the priest? Yeah, relax. <laughs> He's the boss they of the temple. They have no temple. job sometimes, they like... Oh. It is very old. Bam, See? Yeah. Very old. Very old. This also stone? Heavy, little bit broke. Yeah. This is Super originally old. Mughal time. Mughal time. Before the British Empire. Yeah, British Empire. The symbol? Symbol is good luck. Ah. This is Om. Om. This is symbol, swastika. Swastika. This, this is Om. So Middle. Shvastika, Om, Om, and Shvastika. Shvastika is good luck. Good luck. Right. Total chaos. These streets are so narrow and so busy. Of course, guys, Delhi is not all like this. This is old Delhi and it's a very small and specific part, very unique. And around here you have also the main attractions, the Red Fort, the mosque. So it's a very special area. But Delhi is a huge capital and, uh, and you have very different areas, more modern as well. Last year I made a video about the modern side of Delhi. You can check it out or put the link down below. So, because I remember some people say, oh, you just showed the old part. Yeah, this is the most unique part of Delhi. That's why I keep coming back here. And it's very fascinating. And if you come to Delhi, of course, you have to see this. I want to invite Salim for an authentic lunch, like uh, something like local, like Thali or something that we can eat together. Chapati? Chapati. Chapati. Okay, sir. This is the restaurant? Oh, nice. It's different? Yeah. Cauliflower, potato, cheese, onion, ah. dal, dal, rice, rice. Rice, okay. And this? This is naan. Naan. This butter naan. Butter. Okay. Enjoy. Three hundred sixty rupees. All right, guys. The lunch was delicious. I couldn't finish all the tali because it was just way too much for me. 
but it was really good and very authentic. And most importantly, I was really happy to share a meal with uh, Salim and just, you know, share this moment together. Now Salim is gonna bring me back home. And yeah, for many of you that never been to Delhi, this can be very shocking. The chaos, the dirt, so many people, so many things going on at the same time. The the the, cla the klaxon is it's very intense, you know. But at the same time, it's a very unique. It's a very unique experience. I would say I would say like I would say like once in a lifetime experience that everybody has to try. I think everybody has to come to India at least once in a lifetime just to experience this place, to feel the energy and to see how different it is from most of our countries like the West, maybe US, Europe, Australia, etc. It's totally different and once you get used to it then it's a it's a fun experience. And if you will never have a chance to come here, I hope that this video kind of immerse you here they give you the the chance to see through my eyes this uh, this special place this crazy place i would say and if you come to new delhi make sure to contact salim i will put his number down below and he will bring you around same as doing it with me right now so he's a great guy huh? this video <laughs> uh, it's okay <laughs> what is it? I don't have now. <laughs> I don't have now. I don't have. I don't have. <laughs> I don't have now. Uh, Salim, you have 20 rupees, I give you back. He give to you. 20, no? Oh, okay, thank you so much. Okay. 20! I don't have. 20, okay. I don't have. Okay. India is wild, man. <laughs> Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. I'm happy to be back on uh, YouTube. I'm happy to get out of my mental bubble of overthinking, of depression, of anxiety. This experience is definitely waking me up and bringing me back to life. To be present in the moment, to just witness whatever is happening around me instead of getting trapped and stuck in my own mind and i'm happy that today i was able to get out of bed and experience all of this so yeah i'm happy about that all right thank you guys yes sir thank you for everything thank you thank you my thank business you so my much. pleasure my honor thank you so much it was so thank nice to meet you again thank you my pleasure my business my honor <laughs> thank you Very i kind. will see you again huh? thank you sir and I will put the number in the comments so people yes. can contact you. But you don't trust everyone because people is different. Yes. The finger is different, people is different. Yes, I know so. Because in India you are tourist. Yeah, that's true. Okay, okay thank, thank you again. You, sir. Thank okay, you, bye bye. bye, -bye. Sir. bye, -bye. I hope you come very soon again. I will come back, yes. Bye bye. <laughs>